guys and welcome to my channel my name is crystal o and today i'm going to be taking you guys on a brief day trip to magnolia so as you all may or may not know magnolia is a super 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 popular spot all around the world honestly people co come from different places in the world to visit magnolia in waco texas so just a quick recap for those who have no idea who Chip and Joanna Gaines are or what Magnolia is. Magnolia was founded by Chip and Joanna Gaines and they are famous because of their show that was on HGTV called The Fixer Upper. So they now have two landmarks in Waco called the Magnolia Market and the Magnolia Tables. So yes, that's just a little snippet about them. And as you know, I am currently living in Waco, Texas, and I decided that I might as well just go check it out and see what all the hype is about. So today I'm going to be taking you guys along on the journey or just the day trip to see what Magnolia is all about and whether it's worth the hype. So at the end of this video, I'm going to be giving my own personal review about Magnolia and what I personally think about it. So make sure you stay tuned until then. And for now, I'm just going to be showing you guys the things at Magnolia and just snippets and clips and stuff here and there. So you guys get the full picture of what Magnolia is. But yeah, um, if you are not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Uh, we are growing, we are flourishing, we are thriving. And I'd love for you to join the family if that's not you yet. So anyways, I'm waiting for our fiance to get here. Once he gets here, we will be on our way. So we are here and we are approaching the famous Magnolia.
Unless I was already going to Mac, like Waco or something like that, but I wouldn't just come to Waco for Magnolia. Like that's just my personal, um, I guess, opinion or personal kind of mindset. I just wouldn't do it. Okay, Magnolia is beautiful. If you are someone who loves aesthetics, if you are someone who just likes to like, you know, take pictures and hang around and just do random stuff like take pictures and hang around and maybe even buy some stuff from the um, food trucks that are around or go into the Magnolia shop and buy like antiques and just books and stuff like that like kind of like a, a home goods or a Hobby Lobby kind of thing but like not Hobby Lobby or home goods it's more so like antiques and just other stuff that you can like put in your home so I definitely think that Magnolia um would be best for people who already watch the show and who are like in love with chip and joanna i've never ever watched the show the only reason why i know about chip and joanna is because of waco i came to waco and everyone's like oh my gosh like chip and joanna chip and joanna and i'm like wait who is that so i like have to google them to figure out who they are because like clearly i live in a box right i definitely feel like it kind of is overrated but i can't really say that because um, people genuinely do love the place because they watch the show. They keep up with Chip and Joanna's lives. So they love what they do. They appreciate the aesthetics more. I may not be as invested in things such as like, you know, I don't know, like collecting antiques and stuff like that, you know, like at least not now, you know? Um, of course they had like a little barn where they had seeds and stuff, which was really, really cool because of course, like when I get a home or a house, I do want to go into gardening and have like a little garden in my house. So obviously when I get older, that'd be perfect. But right now I'm a, I'm a, I'm a grad student. I don't need a garden. I don't need any seeds. So it was kind of like not for me in that sense, but there was a bakery, some baked goods there. Um, yeah, all that good stuff. So, I mean, I don't really know, like i don't really understand the hype but i can definitely see how it would be real for people who um are in love with chip and joanna and feel the need to travel across the country literally to visit waco just for magnolia i was talking to the girl at the register when i bought my um cupcake and she was like locals don't come to like magnolia people from different places and even countries come to magnolia um she rarely sees wake she rarely sees wacoians or uh locals so i was like kind of surprised but that i wasn't because when you drive by magnolia it's always super packed and busy and it's like heck no like i'm not standing in that line i'm not gonna you know do that so I don't know guys to each his own but personally i would personally go to magnolia for some bomb pictures like that's kind of like what i would do um maybe some good food trucks just somewhere to hang out at i wouldn't see it as like this like oh my gosh i'm going to magnolia no like i would just see it as like 
we're just gonna go hang out, chill, have a good, you know, uh, day, a summer day, um, eat some popsicles, eat some good food, hang out with some friends there, just stuff like that, you know? I don't really see it as a touristy place. That's just kind of my take on it. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you have not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it. And I will see you guys next time on Crystal Low TV. Bye.